that we need to find out the value of the given trigonometric expression. Let us begin. So here we have the first term sine of 3a plus sine of a multiplied to sine a. So let's uh, open the parentheses. So we have sine of 3a multiplied to sine of angle a plus sine of a times sine of a that will give us sine squared a. Similarly, in the second term, we have cosine of 3a minus cosine of a multiplied to cosine of angle a. So we get cosine of 3a times cosine of a minus cosine of a times cosine of a. That will be cosine squared a. Fine. We're going to combine the uh, first term and the third term. So let's uh, write it as cosine of 3a times cosine of angle a. Add it to sine of angle 3a times sine of angle a. Then we're going to combine the second and the third term, but we're going to take negative as the common factor. So we have negative times cosine squared a minus sine squared a. Now what we have here is a standard formula. So this can be combined to get cosine of 3a minus a. Minus, now cosine squared a minus sine squared a, that's the standard formula as well. That's cosine of 2a. This is going to give us cosine of angle 2a minus cosine of angle 2a, which will be equals to 0. So that means the value of the given trig expression comes out to be 0.